So, um, the other day I saw a little movie, uh, uh, and it was about a couple in Hawaii that had um, found a little baby sparrow in the in the yard, and it was just a little tiny thing, as big as not even as big as the palm of your hand. And they walked around, tried to find the nest, and they they couldn't find where it came from, so they kept it. And every for the first few days, they bottle fed it and and um, kept working to try to find the nest, and they they just couldn't do it. Eventually, they just decided to keep the bird, and um, became a pet. And there was a flock of these birds very close to the house. And after a while, they tried to get the the little bird to fly off and 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 um, stay there and join the flock, which event, eventually it did. But as it turns out, every evening the little bird would fly and land right on the the lady's head, and they fed it and loved it and took care of it, and then fly off and stayed in the tree uh, right by the house. And so the point of the, me telling you this is that they developed this relationship with a, a bird. And lots of stories are like that, where people develop a relationship with an animal. It can be a dog, a cat, tiger, bird, whatever. So I, I got to thinking about it, and um, I thought, what, what's, how does that occur? And I came up with the idea that it's time, spending time with the animal. Many of us that have retrievers, we spend some time, you know, the, the little dogs laying on the floor watching TV or out training, but as far as really useful time together, maybe, maybe not very much, which is why I'm such a huge advocate of drills, because drills are where you're working with the dog. It's not like you send him out on a 300 yard blind and stand there while he runs back and forth. You're working with him and communicating with him and trying to get him to do things and giving him a reward when he does it and criticizing him when he doesn't. So it's a, it's a, it's building this relationship. So uh, that's what this lesson is about. Heel. Heel. So what we're going to do here is, in the last episode, we had a seven bumper lining drill, which I've set out. And what the tendency of a dog is, if he's going, for instance, to the mark that we're going to throw, the tendency is to go into shore, especially since it's a channel. Channels are particularly hard to angle. So we're going to throw this mark. And this is just an example of something you can do with the drill. This particular drill is outlined in the advanced retriever training that I've got online. So if you're interested, this is, it's detail is there. So we'll, we'll just run through this quickly. Heel, sit, ready? So that's a tremendous distraction, but he knows that that's not where he's going and he's been schooled in going to a mark or to a line and not to cave into the, the factors that are there. And um, so after I get this mark back, I'll, I'll line him up and pick up one of the uh, one of the parts of the seven bumper lining drill. Good, heel.
Here, sit. Ready? Back. This is a drill that dogs get really good at and it increases their ability to line so clear and precise. It's just unbelievable how valuable it is. I'm gonna move over here. And uh, do it again, heel, sit, good, sit. Ready, sit, back. Good. Okay, let's try that, uh, Mark. Rob. Sit. Ready? Where's the bird? Way out. Back. This particular drill teaches a dog to stay in the water and not just cut into the shore and then square out. And it's the more you do it, you get this kind of a attitude in the water, and it just becomes a thing of beauty. And it's well just a beautiful way to start to develop the relationship you have with your dog. You can do these kind of things for hours and they get, you get, um, you get to um, spend this valuable time with your dog and build a relationship that is what everybody really wants. Heel. Sit. Out. That's it. Now, stay tuned. Got a really important message coming up. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I will give from the spring of the water of life without payment.